I want to welcome you to Hope International College, located in Tonga, Benue State, Nigeria. Just to briefly share with you the reason why I've made this college my number one priority. I want to uh, begin by just uh, giving you a quick idea of what is actually happening with education in Nigeria today by way of some examples that I have uh, randomly picked to just to give you an idea if you have not been paying attention. This is how the condition of education now in Nigeria looks like in most parts. It's another example of the condition of education. This is another typical classroom. It may surprise you to know that some of the schools are actually government schools. Another example of poor condition of education in Nigeria. See this, this the, the children, the students under three. Another example here, you see the children sitting down. No seats whatsoever in this structure that appears to have been abandoned. It's a very sad situation. But these are just some of the examples that you can see. But there's a good news, and um, I'm very pleased for those children who happen to come from rich families in Nigeria. A good example, their condition, decent facilities where they have opportunity to learn just like any other uh, children in the world. I'm very happy for these children, but I'm also very sad and concerned for the children who happen to come from poor families. The truth of the matter is these poor kids didn't choose to be born by parents who don't have anything to take care of themselves. And as a, as a society, we should all be very concerned about it. And these are just some of the examples that I picked up. But I've done a bigger picture that is often not taken into consideration uh, is the conditions in which the poor people in Nigeria also live. Look at this. It's almost unbelievable. This is Lagos, Nigeria. And believe it or not, human beings like the rest of us live in this type of condition. This is the beautiful city of Abuja, Nigeria. But this is just a fraction of the story. The truth of the matter is majority of the people that live in Abuja live in a different Abuja. Here is an example of the condition in which the poor people also live in Abuja and more live in such conditions than the beautiful building that you see uh, when you come into Abuja. But I want to take a quick look at some of the schools. These are just some of the schools, uh, rich schools for rich people in Nigeria, Priestland College, Lagos. Two million a year per child. Atlantic Hall, Lagos, over two million Naira per child. Another school here, Corona Secondary School, Ogun State, over two million, 2.5 million Naira per year per child. This is Hillcrest School in Jaws, 2.6, over 2.6 million Naira per year per child. And, uh, and the list goes on. This is Green Springs School, Lagos, over 3 million Naira per year per child. Meadow Hall, Lagos, 3 million. You have White Plains British School in Abuja, 3.6 million Naira per child. And uh, this is the Waterman College, Berkuta, 3.7 million Naira per child a year. And this is uh, 
Lakey British International School, Lagos, about 4 million, over 4 million Naira per child, open session. British International School, Lagos, for over 4.4 million Naira a year per child. And this American International School in Abuja with a total charge of $20,970 per child a year. If you convert that to the current rate of exchange of 450, as I'm told now, you will have $9,436,000 Naira. 9,436,000 Naira per child per year to attend American International College or school in Abuja. And it's one that surprised me, and that mean I was really surprised. American International School in Lagos. These are just, these are the current tuition fee, and I picked this on their website. If you can go on American International School, you can look at the tuition and fees that American International School Lagos charges. Just to give you an idea, application fee alone is 687 US dollars. The registration fee is 13,724 US dollars. That's 13,724 US dollars. And the capital improvement fee of 3,120 US dollars. And I look at the classification of fees by uh, different grades from one to four, uh, of grade five to six to eight and nine to twelve. Grade you have thirty thousand eight six hundred and sixteen, and when you add that fee, six hundred and six thousand five hundred and eighty-seven for for Eng English for English language learners a special assessment fee of 9,981. If you happen to have your child in the ninth grade to attend American International School, for example, I added up, if my addition is correct, 64,715 US dollars. Convert that at the current rate that I'm told of uh, 450 Naira per dollar, you will get over 29 million Naira to send your child to American International School in Lagos. That is amazing. But what surprised me most is to look at the admissions priorities they have on their website. An example, siblings and previously enrolled student. That if you have enrolled in this college, your siblings have attended this college, you have a priority. That suggests to me that even to those who have managed to send their children to American International School, do not easily get admission to get into the school. Not to talk about those who don't have money at all. If this is not discrimination, I don't know what is we can assign the meaning of this to. But the point I want to make is that education for the poor in Nigeria is almost out of reach, unfortunately. Unfortunately because the conditions in which they learn are deplorable, miserable condition. It's heartbroken if you take time to see what is going on. And I was told that even in the universities, overcrowded universities that we have, the conditions are very, very bad. But they come the reason why I want to make my own small contribution to Nigeria. 
That's the reason why I made this investment to purchase Hope International College. And the reason is very simple. I want all children, regardless where they come from, socioeconomic background, to have an opportunity for quality education because I do believe that all children are special, have something to offer. And the means to offer or to get their talents shown is through education. So our mission at Hope International College is to develop a premier college in Nigeria for all children, regardless of their socioeconomic background, will focus on science and technology at affordable cost of just 3,000 Naira per child. I will subsidize most of this cost and I'm making significant investment to subsidize, committing over 100 million Naira for the development of our curriculum in terms of the infrastructure, the equipment that we need to uh, develop this uh, college. The good news, good news is that the new technology now at our disposal is possible. Few challenges, of course, such as uh, power, but this is being overcome by use of inverters and generators, and uh, we'll also be very soon investing in solar technology. Uh, we have, uh, we'll be installing internet, but to make sure that what we have is available to our student, I'm investing time to also develop intranet specifically at Hope International College. Very simple technology that most of what I need in terms of electronic materials, books, lectures, and what, and all these things are stored electronically on the campus of in Hope International College. That means that uh, also a good news that I have is that I have gone through all, most of the best practices. Countries like Bangladesh, India, United Kingdom, uh, Canada, and of course the United States of America where I live to pick some of their best practices and incorporate them in this curriculum. But the most important that I'm very excited about is to get the support uh, from some of the best educators who are willing to share with me their talent, their materials that they have developed uh, on their own for me to use freely for the student at Hope International College. And with the use of uh, projectors, these classes that are carefully designed and it, uh, are, are, are made available to our student, I understand they come from disadvantaged background, but they can watch these lectures over and over and over and over until all of them get to master every content, every material that we intend for them to uh, uh, master. And uh, if you want to learn more about Hope International College, I want you to visit uh, www.hictongo.com as presented here. And you will take a look at and see what we are doing. We'll continue to develop the school most of our lectures are already uh, published on the school uh, on the web on this website. Some of the best of the best, I must add, and I'm very excited about this. That our children in uh, community and poor children who do not have millions of dollars to attend the schools can come here and learn uh, the same way, if not better. I'm very excited.